Hello everybody and welcome to Crazy Horse Gaming. I'm Mike Pemmon and today we're going to be looking at Bioshock Infinite. But before I start, I'd like to point out that a great deal of Infinite's appeal and huge factor towards the enjoyment of this game revolves around the story, so I won't be delving too deep into the story and I'll try and keep spoilers to a minimum for those who haven't played it yet and are still waiting to get hands on a copy. So, first of all, Bioshock Infinite is a first-person shooter from Irrational Games and published by Two Key Games and designed by Ken Levine. Bioshock Infinite is the third instalment of the highly regarded and very popular Bioshock series. Set in 1912 on a giant flying city in the clouds, Columbia portrays itself as the perfect example of the ideal American society, but as with all Bioshock games, all is not as it appears. As you can see from the get-go, Infinite is a stunning game. The developers really have gone all out to create a colourful and vibrant world that feels full of life. You arrive at Columbia during a huge festival celebrating the flying city and its leader and religious head, a guy they describe as the Prophet Comstock. And they do a great job of creating the vibrant feeling of the celebrations. You are sent to Columbia by a couple of mysterious strangers with the task of finding and returning a woman called Elizabeth to cancel off some gambling debts your character has acquired. You play the role of Booker Dewitt, a former agent of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency who has fallen on bad times. So this makes the story a completely separate story from the first two Bioshocks. The combat in Bioshock Infinite plays in the same manner as the previous Bioshocks. You use your weapons in conjunction with special telekinetic powers of various types, like the power to launch fireballs or a tentacle made of water to grab your enemies. You can also use these powers to create traps to ensnare your enemies. You get these powers by drinking potions called Vigors throughout the game, and these Vigors are powered by your salt meter. You keep your salt meter topped up by eating food and drinking potions you find in the environment, or by buying potions through vending machines. The weapons in the game work and feel great, they all act like they have some real weight behind them and behave like you would expect guns of the type to behave. Machine guns need firing in short bursts to maintain any type of accuracy, shotguns are useless at long range and sniper rifles have a slow reload. They really have put some thought into the weapons and how they work, even down to the little details like a gun barrel glowing red due to using the gun on a constant stream of fire. It's the small details that create some great things sometimes. You can improve the strength and performance of your weapons and vigors by purchasing upgrades through vending machines scattered throughout the world. When you reach Elizabeth and rescue her, she becomes a vital part of the game and the narrative. She becomes vital as support for you during combat, keeping you topped up with ammo, health and salt as often as possible, and reviving you when you fall. Elizabeth is a well fleshed out character who is a strong, confident and independent person, which makes a refreshing change from the damsel in distress scenario. The developers did a great job of making sure that you as the main character did not have to worry about protecting Elizabeth in combat, ensuring that you are not distracted from the experience of the combat itself. Elizabeth is also a great mouthpiece for the narration, putting an emotional face to some of the issues the game points out during the story, such as racism, workers' rights, sexism, religious cultists and slavery. So with solid combat, great visual style and a well structured and gripping story which pulls you into the world from the start to finish makes this a great game which I would recommend to fans of the franchise and to those who have never played a Bioshock title before. Thanks for watching, I'm Michael Pemmer. For more news, reviews and videos check out crazyhorsegaming.co.uk That's crazyhorsegaming.co.uk Also if you're looking for a place to meet up with Friendly, fun and like-minded gamers, check out the forums over at www.gamerkitten.com. That's www.gamerkitten.com. Thanks for watching.